Go, go, Power Rangers! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! They often say, I think the title Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Once and Always is means once a ranger, always a ranger. <laughs> yeah. The rangers are back. They're no longer the kids with attitudes, but they still fulfill their roles as the, ran as the Power Rangers. Of course, you know, if you weren't a kid in the 90s, you you won't know who the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers were. Now, on the other hand, some kids have rediscovered the series and and discover what the, the enjoyment of, of what the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers are. Of course, you know there were other series after this, after the show ended, that taken up the mantle. And in 2016, there was an attempt to reboot the franchise. But unfortunately, it didn't fare well with critics. So that's why there was no sequel. Hmm, bummer. Now, uh, now seeing these, some of these actors reprise their roles from the 90s show. No, not all the actors do reprise their roles. But for that, they do manage to work it, work around it pretty well, I must say. Who do reprise their roles? David Yoist is Billy and Walter jo Jones is Zack. <laughs> of course, they were the Blue and Black Rangers. And the story is Rita Repulsa Returns. <laughs> and uh, kills one of the Rangers, uh, Trini, who was played by Fui Thang, who did was killed in a car accident in 2001. And Zack is left raising her and making sure she's okay trying to be this father figure to her and and she so angrily wants to avenge her mother's death she wants to be a power ranger and Zach's trying to teach her it takes more than skill to be a power ranger will she Will she take up the mantle? The daughter's name is Min, by the way. Will she take up the mantle? Well, you're going to have to see this. You're going to have to see this to find out. Yeah, it's a shame we lost two of the Power Rangers. Louie Thang and Jason David Frank. And I like the way... This episode... This does pay homage... Tri I mean, tribute to them. And I like the way it kind of trying to make it feel like a, a 90s episode <laughs> with some new emotional depth added to it. And it does it quite well. <laughs> I mean, the dialogue is not quite as campy as it was, but still fun to watch. Some may disagree with me thinking this, I may think this is a reunion episode but it's, it's what it is to me it's not i don't know if it's going to be another series or not i i doubt it i mean they just did this just for just a fun little reunion for me i think the power rangers will live on for a while i mean it's clear <laughs> that even Kids today will always embrace what what the Power Rangers stand for. Now I'm gonna say this: the two lovable, dim-witted bullies, Bulk and Skull, they do not appear in this in this. But there is one little moment where it tells you what came of them, <laughs> and it's funny. It's one of those blink and you might miss it <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> But I think if you were a fan of the Power Rangers story, I think you're going to like this. It, it makes you rediscover what being a Power Rangers fan was all about. So I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Talk to you later.